Hello everyone, Jorge Huertas once again with all of you. Today I'm going to show you what is and how to use Hoim's notes. Well, this is a tool of empathy. It got the following characteristics. Allows to organize the notes that are made during an observation in order to be able to easily analyze them among the whole group and arrive to a result. The name of this is an acronym which means people, objects, environment, messages, services, which are the elements that are analyzed in this process. The success in the use of this tool is found in the objective and depth with which the notes are taken and the rigor of the analysis to decide which route take in the project. The resource is used in the empathy and tasting stage in a project that is being developed with the design thinking methodology or any other agile methodology. Also, something very important, this video is also available in Spanish. Okay, so when we talk about points notes, uh, there are a couple of things that are extremely important. This use, this tool is complementary with observation. It means that you have to be making an observation and you use this matrix to analyze the information. Also very important to keep in mind the logistic because when you use this matrix, it means that you are analyzing something specific and it's very important to keep this in mind. Also, you can record the information in a video or in any tool that you think and that is appropriate, you can do that. And also, besides recollect the information, you analyze the information with the following matrix that I'm going to show you. The way that I'm going to show it to you is the way that I do it. I strongly recommend to recollect the information at the beginning just by yourself, just one person. The idea is that at the end you can get together with all your um, classmates or teammates and you can put a result of everyone with the opinions and the information. So this is the matrix. You start by describing what kind of uh, recollection are you going to take. That is very important. So the description of the information, you start writing and you will say, what is the purpose? Are you going to test a prototype? Are you going to follow a possible user in their daily basis? What are you going to do? Then you are going to put all the information that is extremely important the date, the time, the place, and how much time it took you to recollect. Because you could start at 7 p.m., but you could finish at 11 p.m. So it took you three hours. That's very important because with that information, we know how much time uh, you took to record and recollect all this information. So the first thing that you are going to analyze is the persona. It means you could be following one person or you could be following a lot of persons. So here you will say, okay, the persons that I'm looking for is Juanito, Pepito, and whoever it is. It could be just one person. It could be a whole group. So for each person that you are going to analyze, you will have to have the whole column so you can analyze the, the other things. Then objects. If this person is interacting with any kind of object, you will describe that. You will describe the usability and you will describe if they are appropriating the use of that component, especially when you are testing something. But if you are just getting empathy, you will want to follow all the behavior of the persons and which, which objects uh, they are interacting. Then you will describe their environment. How is it? you will describe it. One of the most important things with this tool is that you have to be very specific. If you are very specific and you go into detail, the development will be much better. But if we just make a superficial description, it won't be that good. So analyze the interaction, usability, and appropriation. Then you will analyze the message. It means uh, if the person is talking with someone else, which tone they use, which channel, because it could be a uh, face to face, but it could be also um, digital using any kind of application and improving and 
uh, making a bigger understanding of a specific situation. Then, if they are interacting with a service or you are testing a service or they are interacting with a service, you will analyze their use, their appropriations and their interaction. It's very important because here you always will be analyzing um, a specific component. So in this case, in particular, uh, this example is with three people, but could be more, especially if you are working with a group of people, this could be more, but the idea is for each person you will analyze their objects of interaction, their environment, their message, and of course the service. After you analyze all, all the people, all the personas, you will describe their user experience. What, what you analyze from that recollection, this is part of the insight, these two points here. And of course, points on a, of analysis, it means that all the components that you consider are relevant in the observation that you make. Then you will get together with all your group and for the same user, you will have different uh, analysis, different components, so you can analyze from that and decide what is the result of recollecting, of analyzing those kind of components. It will help you a lot. So at the end, everyone will have their, their matrix. You can do this digital or you can do it uh, printed. It's really up to you, but it's very important that the recollection of information and the analysis that you make here is very, very specific. As a conclusion, we can say when you finish developing the poem's notes, it's fundamental to meet all your group members and analyze the information and decide what actions to take. Success in using this tool is in the rigor that you have for collect the information and analyze it. These results generate an order when making an observation and let's know how to analyze it. So that is very important as well. Thank you so much. I hope this video was a big help in your education. Please subscribe to our channel, Design Thinking 24-7. Remember that we have a new video in Spanish every Monday, a new video in English every, every Thursday. Thank you to all of you who are the number one Design Thinking and Agile channel in the whole YouTube platform. Uh, our Udemy courses are already available. In this link, you can find them both. Uh, thank you so much, and we'll see you next time.